Hey, what's up, Roman? What's going on? Just gonna wait a minute here till everyone kind of filters in. Hi, Giants fan. Hi, Ethan. What's up, Kenneth? Hi, Jordy. Yo, boy, legend. What's up? Hello, Taylor. What's up? I'm going to be in baseball cards. Toig? Topanga? Chris? Blaze? What's up? HBK Styles? What's up, John? Uh, NBC this weekend? No, next weekend I'll be there. I won't be there this weekend. Hi, Ryan from Puerto Rico. Hi, Seth. Yo, Seth. Hi, Hunter. Chris, my Monday's been busy. How's yours? Mahomes deal. Outrageous. What was it, like 500 million? Shreveport, Louisiana. What's up? Ask Patrick. Greg, what's up? Volt, Wisconsin sports fan. Hello. Hi, Chris. Oh, sorry. I already said hi. You're busy too? Thanks. All right, everybody. What's up, Benson? Well, I'm always tired at this time. I keep waking up early. But... Um, oh, nice. First baseball of the season tomorrow. I've... Uh, hey, right now. Um, we have our... Well, we have practice tomorrow, but we have our first games this weekend. Go into your local card shop. Nice. Uh, judge. How often should you throw for velocity? Uh, do you mean in training? 503 million for 10 years. Holy shnikes. Good. I hope they wasted all their money on him and can't sign anyone else. 10 years for 500 million. Patriots just got Cam Newton for a minimum of a million. Uh oh, good luck to Ellie. You're going by? Bye. Hey, Logan Detwiler, thank you so much for the super chat. What's your favorite World Series of all time? Uh, my favorite World Series of all time would probably have to be uh, the first World Series that I saw the Red Sox win uh, against the Cardinals. So I would have to say 2004. Marcakis did opt out of the season. You're right. Hey, thanks. I'd say your name, but I don't know how to say that. Uh, Bakersfield was single A when I was uh, when I was playing. The Kurt Schilling bloody sock. How do you aim your hits consistently? Uh, you don't aim them. You just hit the ball. <laughs> Actually, my college coach is kind of funny. So, you, so you, you don't aim hits. At least I never aimed hits. It's hard enough to hit the ball. Never mind aim the hit. Um, but my college coach yelled at me once because um, we were doing like a scrimmage and I, I hit two hard balls right at the shortstop and he caught both of them. And my coach was like, why are you, why do you continually hit the ball right at him that hard? I'm like, I don't know, I'm just hitting the ball and that's where it's going. I guess it's bad luck. He's like, well, you can aim, you know, aim the ball more over here where there's nobody playing. And I was like, well, if it was only that easy, if it was that easy, I think we'd all be playing at a higher level than we're playing. Nice. Gavin Lux rookie cards. Nice. Uh, well, we don't. I don't know if we exactly know what the games are going to look like, but um, Major League Baseball did announce their schedule today. And uh, first game, I think, uh, first national game, national TV game is Yankees Nationals, I believe, which I'm pretty excited about. 
Uh, I do not play uh, Fortnite, and I don't eat Snickers or Paydays. Uh, I'm not a Boston fan, though, but I'll watch them. Oh, these questions... These, these questions are going fast right now, guys. I'm having a hard time reading them all. Clippers or Lakers? Uh, I don't like either of them. I'm a Celtics fan. NFL is going to be weird without fans in the stands. That would be definitely strange if that happens. Evan Sather, Sather, thank you so much for the super chat. I always mess up your last name. What advice would you give to a minor leaguer who struggled with performance and injuries like you did? Uh, well, I don't know. Um, I mean, injuries are really hard to give much advice on. It's, you know, all of my injuries were basically out of my control. So, I mean, what do you tell them? Keep your head up, keep working hard. I mean, that's what everyone tells them. I don't know if that helps or not, but, um, I don't know if I have great advice for dealing with injuries. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. But I would probably just, I guess, give him the old cliche. Hang in there, kid. You'll be fine. HBK Styles. Thank you so much for the Super Chat. Spike curve or standard grip for more spin? Uh, so when I threw a curveball, I threw just a standard grip. I know some players that spike the curve and they're able to, you know, they, they are able to create a lot of spin and get a lot of strikeouts. I'm not an expert on curveballs. Um, or on curveball spin rate. So I would probably tell you to go with the grip, try both, see which, you know, which you feel, feel best with, what you're able to command the ball best with, what you're able to spin the ball best with, and then go from there. Richie the Wolf, thank you so much. Matt, do you like cookies or brownies more and why? I'd probably go cookies, although brownies, I mean, both are great. I'm not going to turn either one down. It's a tough question. Um, but I'll probably go cookies over brownies. Uh, Doritos or Cheetos? Ooh, that's another tough one. I like both of them. I'm probably going to go Doritos, although Cheetos are amazing. But with Doritos, I got a couple. I can go Cool Ranch. I can go Nacho Cheese. Is that the one? I don't know. Um, actually my wife, my wife got all mad because we did an Instacart and they brought us, she wanted like the nacho cheese ones, the red ones, and they brought us spicy red ones. And she was like, what the hell is this? I don't want, I don't want this spicy stuff. And then we ate it and we were like, oh my God, this is amazing. So oh, super chat. Hold on guys. I have a super chat. Teddy helping. Teddy helping. Going to be in the house tomorrow. Scale of 1 to 10, how much is summer ball important? Um, so, that's a great question. I'll start with this. Summer ball, there's a million different things summer ball could mean. So, like asking if summer ball is important, it's hard for me to answer. Is I don't know what you're playing for summer ball. I don't know what anyone's playing for summer ball. I would like to think that what we do in Anselme Baseball, we play summer ball. That's my job. I would like to think that we do a pretty good job. I'd like to think it's pretty important. I'd like to think that uh, we do a, a good job of developing players and, sh and showcasing older players and having players just have fun. So I would, I would think that's important. So I'd say 10. Now you might, I've seen places where it might be a 1, but I'd like to say 10. Sam P, thank you much for the super chat. How about that Tesla stock? Yeah, don't remind me. So I ended up selling some calls in Tesla stocks. I don't own as much Tesla stock now as I did before, um, which is a real bummer. But I am I'm still excited that the stock's going up because I made a good amount of money with it. I would have made more. Um, I guess as they say, you'll never go break broke taking a profit. I did take a profit. I would have liked to have taken a bigger profit, but that's the way it goes. Rich Durbano, what's going on, Rich? Sorry for the Dow update, but yet another monster day for Apple. Gotta love it. I loved it today too, Rich. We both did pretty well with our Apple stock today. As a coach, do you find yourself encouraging a lot of youngsters to attempt switch hitting, knowing most kids can't? Um, so I actually don't encourage any kids to switch hit. Um, not because I think switch hitting is bad. 
I just think switch hitting is extremely tough. Uh, I think it's, I think for most kids, getting kids to understand their swing when they only swing one way, getting them to be able to work hard on it, being able to get in the amount of reps that they need to be really good at it, I think that's challenging. So I always just start with that. I've never told a kid before, man, you should really switch it. In my experience, I've just never told anyone that. Um, if a kid does switch it or wants to switch it, excuse me, I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. I love it. But I have not encouraged anyone that is not a switch hitter to become a switch hitter. Hopefully that makes sense. Ramones, Ramones, 3122. Thank you so much for the super chat. Do you think Roberto Clemente will ever have number 21 retired across the whole MLB like Jackie Robinson, number 42? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not an expert in retired numbers. I would think, I mean, let's see, Roberto Clemente. So Roberto Clemente. So let's see, it's been 30, almost 40 years since he um, died. That's a long time. Has been retired yet across the league. I would. Have, I, I'm going to say no, but I mean maybe. Dan Young, thank you so much for the super chat. As a Phils fan, I am concerned about Remuto's future with the team. What is your take on contract negotiations? Any insight in the situation? So I just saw a uh, was it a tweet I saw from Bryce Harper saying that they should lock him up long term, um, and so let's see here. Gum or seeds? Uh, I like both, but I, I don't have either when I'm playing. Um, what were we just talking about? Oh, um, Rio Muto. Let's see. So Rio Muto this year, free agent year, he's playing for $10 million. It depends. Every player is different. I mean, there's some players that sign... You know, some players that wait till the very end and sign as free agents and they'll still sign back. Other players, you know, those, some players want to just test the waters, see what's out there. Some players like where they're at. They want to, you know, sign a long-term contract and the team's on board. It's really tough to say. I think it depends on the player. Depends on the agent. Um, why do females play softball and guys baseball? Uh, I'm not sure how that started, but, um, I mean, there's always some, like when I was younger, I, um, played with a couple of girls in baseball and actually played with a few as they continued to move up. And then eventually they moved over to softball, but I don't know why that is. Yeah. I mean, baseball is a little bit different. I mean, you're going to eventually get to a big diamond. You don't get to that in softball. So the game is, is different. Would I recommend it or not? What summer ball? Uh, I would rec recommend it if you were playing for us. What's my take on Mahomes signing for five hundred million? Well, that's a lot of money. I think Mahomes is uh, best quarterback in the game. I think he's going to be a best quarterback for a while. I guess he just won a Super Bowl, so he deserves to probably be paid more than anyone else. That is a humongous contract. I have not gone in depth into all the contracts paid out by the NFL over the last however many years to quarterbacks, but it's a lot of money. But they locked up their guy. Should MLB have a 100 pitch counts limit for starters? No, I don't think they need a, a pitch count limit. Oh, the cards that you sent me? Uh, I don't believe I have those yet. I might have those. Um, a lot of my mail right now, because I'm not opening up mail very much right now. So uh, I probably have it. I just haven't opened it up yet. Uh, who do I think? I mean, the Dodgers and the Yankees have got to be the two favorites, so... I'll go with the, um, You're not with the Dodgers? I am. I'm just 
doing a little YouTube live. Lara says hello, everyone. Uh, I did not choke up on the bat, although I had a coach one year with the Padres that had a list. He came to practice with a list, and he said, if I don't call your name, or he said, if I call your name, then you don't have to choke up. If I don't call your name, then you've got to choke up. And they didn't call my name, so they made me choke up, and I really didn't like it, but we did some crazy things with the Padres. <laughs> I will open your mail soon enough, though, but it's kind of a crazy time. I know they say that mail is not bad to open up, but I get a lot of mail. So. It goes through uh, quarantine. It could, yeah, my mail goes through quarantine first, Laura just said. Richie the Wolf, thanks so much for Super Chat. What's your thought on Roger Clemens overall? Roger Clemens is a beast. I mean, guy juiced it up, but he was a stud. He was unhittable. Uh, what's with the bird? That's an eagle. I went to high school at St. John's Prep with the Eagles. No, Juan, I'm not. I'm, I swear to God, this is when I was with the Padres. They literally, it was our on-field coordinator, I think he might have been called. It was the first year I was drafted. He showed up and he said, if I call your name, you don't have to choke up. If I don't, and he only called like five guys' names. And there was like 50 of us that didn't get called. And he's like, y'all choking up. Choking up. So I'm up there. I swear to God. I mean, I was so pissed about this because I didn't like choking up. And I never choked up in my life. Never in my life have I been choked up. You just paid me lots of money to play for you. And now you're telling me choke up. So I was kind of mad. So I'm not going to lie. I went up to the plate, choked up, and acted like a punch and Judy guy. Like I was just trying to like hit a ball through this two hole, the, through the four hole, even in like a 2-0 count. I'd be like, all right, you're going to make me choke up? Okay, <clears throat> take that right there. And then it, it literally lasted for like a day or so. And then he was, they came back and they're like, okay, guys, we're not doing the choking up thing anymore. I'm telling you, Juan, we saw some crazy, I saw some crazy stuff. Never found my first home run. My most prized baseball award. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot of prized baseball awards. Actually, to be honest, most of my awards in my house are all for sports, non-baseball. Like I have, this is kind of funny actually, all my big awards are not baseball awards. I have State Player of the Year in football over there. That's the Varsity Hockey Award. This is Best Athlete Award. That's Massachusetts Gatorade Player of the Year Award in football. So we have football, athlete, hockey, football. Those are all my awards. I don't have a, I don't have a single baseball award in this damn house. Have I ever gotten a baseball award? I don't know if I've gotten a baseball award. I mean, our high school was weird where, like, they did weird things. So our high school was weird. They did, like, weird things. Like, I was better at baseball than hockey. Much better at baseball than hockey by my senior year. My freshman year, maybe I was better at hockey or as close. But by my senior year, I was way better at baseball than hockey. But they gave me the MVP of the hockey team and not the baseball team because... The MVP of the hockey team had won MVP of the lacrosse team, I think. And so they wanted to, they didn't want to give players like trophies in multiple sports. So it kind of all got messed up. I used the 34 inch, 31 ounce bat. Was Gibbs my coach? What's the, what the? Uh, for baseball? Pat Yanches was my coach. I'd never had a beef with other players, no. Trevor Hoffman is a great player and a great guy. Yeah, I, play, I played hockey my whole life until I got to college and I stopped. My head feels great. Advice for a sore arm? Well, it depends. I mean, uh, just a sore arm. I mean, I get a sore arm. I used to get a sore arm all the time. So um, I actually think I got a sore arm a lot because I didn't do a great job of warming up, cooling down. 
and I wouldn't like throw enough during the week sometimes. I just like, I would come out and like fireballs after not really throwing much during the week. Not all the time, but sometimes. Ever have a beef with a restaurant or a hotel while traveling for baseball? Nope, not yet. That is my high school right there. That's right. Tom August, thank you so much for Super Chat. Tips for my six-year-old learning the catch. Well, I have a five-year-old learning the catch. Um, so, uh, let's see. I started off with my son using a softball and not a glove and just got him used to having the hand in the right position and just, you know, just seeing the ball catching, 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 like really easy, nice and easy, like very, very close. Just do that a bunch. And then we slowly move back and then I give him a glove and, um, you know, so I always thought like, uh, and this is not, there's no scientific data behind this or anything. I haven't looked it up or anything, but I always just wanted to make sure one, he wasn't going to be afraid of the ball Two, he caught it enough. So he wasn't like, screw this sport. I don't like this sport. So I want to make it really easy for him. Uh, I did the same thing with hitting. Like when he was very young, <laughs> I have COVID. No, I don't have COVID. I don't think, um, when he was really young, I wanted him to like have a lot of success hitting. So, you know, we hit balloons and we hit these big, huge things and big, big balls and big bats so that when he hits it, he's like, yeah, this sport's awesome. I like having all this success and then they want to play it more. Sometimes I see people like with young kids, they're making the game really hard. Like they've got a skinny wiffle ball bat or a little tiny ball and the kid swings and misses 15 times and he breaks the bat over his leg and says, I hate this sport. I'm going to go play soccer. Uh, who do I play for? I don't play for anyone. I used to play for the Padres. What's the hardest position to play? Well, I mean, catcher is a very hard position because it's very specific. Um, hold, hold, hold on one second, guys. Hey, Laura. Don't start the show. Don't, you're not starting that without me, are you? No, just wait a little bit. No. Just hold on a little bit. Just hold on a little bit. I won't. All right, guys. So Laura and I started watching Hamilton last night. And it was great. But we both fell asleep. And now she's starting it without me. And I wanted to watch it tonight. Uh, Albert. So falling into the plate. So it depends how much he is. Um, I always say that when you turn, like I'd rather you fall into the plate than away from the plate. So it might not be a bad thing. If he's really falling over, then he could be diving into the plate. His momentum could be going this way during his stride. Maybe he is, maybe his posture is too much over the plate. So, um, it's tough exactly to say, but I would watch for his momentum diving in too much could cause it. Or if he's just like excessively bent over at the waist, maybe too far, he could, that could be causing it too. But falling into the plate on the follow through is better than falling away from the plate. Charm City 77 thank you so much for the super chat. Long time fan, thank you. Thanks for getting me into PS4, the show and card collecting. All right, just got skunked on an HTA box. Bought an auto rookie card of you on eBay. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're into all those things. I like all those things too. Albert, thank you for the super chat. I hope that helps. <laughs> Laura, will, Laura will come and disinfect me if I say uh, COVID. Am I a metal guy? As in like a metal back guy? Or in like heavy metal music? Is A-Rod better than Derek Jeter? Um, I'm going to say that A-Rod is more talented than Derek Jeter. I think Derek Jeter is a great player. I'm going to say A-Rod's more talented was A-Rod helped by the special sauce? Uh, yeah, I'm sure he was. But A-Rod's numbers are ridiculous. If you just want to see ridiculous numbers, just type in A-Rod and look at his stats. They're ridiculous. Do you, I believe in ice or heat? I believe in hot ice. I heat up the ice cubes. It's the best of both worlds. Um, so I've used both over my career. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing now. When I was playing, it was, uh, you know, use heat before the game, use ice afterwards. Um, I, uh, 
I've done contrast stuff. I've done, um, you know, I actually thought that, I thought ice baths really helped me. I would always take an ice bath after a game. I was, so I would get in the hot tub before a game and I would do an ice bath, bath after the game. I always thought those worked out really well for me. Uh, metal spikes all the way. I don't like plastic spikes. I never felt like with plastic spikes, if the feel was a little bit hard, I never felt like I got a good enough grip. Is timing more important than mechanics in hitting? So I think timing has to do with your mechanics. Timing isn't just when do I get my foot up. That's part of timing. Timing also has to do with your bat path. Because if your path is crap, then your timing gets affected. Timing also has to do with how do I control my weight like so I get loaded and now I move forward. How good of a job do I do of staying loaded as I move forward? If you don't do that, your timing's affected. So the timing can be very complicated. There's a lot of things. So um, timing is hitting mechanics in my opinion. Or your hitting mechanics affect your timing. Maybe it's easier to say. Uh, favorite WWE WWF finishing move? Um, probably the Undertaker with his what was the choke slam? Teddy Halpin, thanks so much for the super chat. How to be more accurate doing Spider Man on the bus? Teddy, I don't know if everyone knows what the Spider Man is, but you know, I think it's just practice. You just got to get up there and do it. Enough people run into you, you'll figure out. You'll, you'll figure it out. The tombstone. Oh, yeah, the tombstone. That's right. What age should you be throwing a curve? Um, I don't know if there's a specific age. So we have players. We'll have young players that throw. Well, we have 12-year-olds that throw a curve if they throw it properly. Um, we'll have some 12-year-old 12 play, 12 players that don't throw a curve. So... I think you got to just make sure you throw it properly and just don't overdo it. Some kids want to throw it every pitch. I always like to work on fastball, fastball command first, making sure that the player's throwing a fastball right and throw it you know, not exactly where they want it because no one throws it exactly where they want it. But um, And then move on to other pitches after that. RC from the MYC. Thank you so much, RC. Hey, Matt. Hey, Laura. Hey, Chad. Hope everyone's doing well. Do you think the MLB season may be short and if players continue to test positive as the season progresses? Well, RC, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I think it's going to be tough to get through the entire MLB season this year. Some people think I'm a pessimist. Some people don't believe that there is even COVID out there. Um, I think it's going to be difficult. You have... Not that you have like an outrageous number of players testing positive right now, but my worry is my worry is that the, the numbers in our country are no, are not going down; they're going up, which is not good. And uh, you know, people smarter than me have talked about how the fall could be worse with a second wave and all this stuff. And so, like, if we're already this bad, like, I'm just nervous of what the fall will look like. Yeah, see, so 99% is probably to get over it. I understand that some people say that, but um, MLB is not just going to get over it. Like, MLB is not going to be like, ah, oh, we're fine, guys. Let's just play through it. Oh, the whole league's testing positive. Let's just keep going. They're not going to do that. All right, let's not get into a COVID. The last thing I want to do is get into a COVID talk right here because COVID is very much like politics, which I don't talk about ever because... All people do is yell at each other about politics because nobody can see the other person's side. And when it comes to this, no one can see the other person's side. So let's not talk about that. Um, I did hear Joey Gallo tested positive. Uh, thoughts on Spencer Torkelson? I saw him raking balls, smashing balls um, at practice. So he looks like a big leaguer. He's got a big league body already. Um, no, that wasn't you, R RC. That's not a, I, your question was legit. I think your question was really good. I just don't like, I just don't want to get into like the numbers and everything. Cause for every, for every stat you see on one side, you can find a stat that's on the exact opposite side. So. Um, 
Uh, I've been in brawls, never been ejected. You're supposed to play my Antonelli baseball team on the 18th. Oh, Antonelli gold team. Gotcha. What age group is that, Zach? We have a lot of gold teams. A 13-year-old in Cutter. You'd, uh, honestly, I don't know enough about Cutters. You'd have to ask Juan Rivera. He's our pitching guy. He was in the chat a, mi a minute ago, a little while ago. He might be gone now. Uh, I do not regret regret getting or not getting tossed from a game now. Will I buy an MLB team? Um, yeah, sure. If you give me some money to do it. I've never been in a plate collision with another catcher. I've been in it with my own catcher. I got 30 stitches in my face from running into my own catcher. He had a goalie mask on, fly ball to third base. I was running in. Wind was blowing super hard. He started running out. We smashed faces. Um, he had the mask on, cut my face. I don't know if you can see... Uh... Let's see if you can see it. Uh, where is it? It's hard to see. Yeah, you can't see it right now. But anyways, I cut my face in three different spots, like here, here, and then here. I had to get a bunch of stitches. Yeah, my beard hides a lot of my uh, a lot of the scars. By the rays, I'm going into my sophomore year. When should I start hitting for power instead of contact? So I think power develops as you know you get bigger, stronger, swing faster. Like I never try. I hit for a lot more power when I got older. I didn't try to hit for more power. I just yes, Laura. Uh, I'd rather have 100 ice cream sandwiches. I love ice cream. It got really dark in here all of a sudden. Because the screen shut off your face. The screen puts like up makes you look wicked washed out and pale. That's just because I have this on right here. See, if I turn my computer down, see now my skin tone is normal. But when I have my computer on, whoa, it makes me look very, very white. Hey, Lake Elsinore, what's going on? Hey, Gary. What's the secret to a long, happy marriage? Gary wants to know. Well, you tell me. Um, we haven't been married that long. We've been married for eight years. Okay. We've been, been together for 14. If the Browns and the Bengals got into a Super Bowl, who would win? Neither team. They probably wouldn't be able to figure out a way to beat one another. It would be the game that never ends. I don't know if Mike Trout's playing. I hope he does. Hey, thank you. Have I read the book? Do I actually read the books behind me? Uh, I've actually read every book on that shelf. And I have another shelf like that over there that I've read every book on that shelf. I actually used to, well, I mean, not used to. I still like to read, but I used to read a lot. I was the weird guy on bus trips who would read a book on every bus trip. How do you hit your first home run? Well, it depends how old you are. Um, I didn't hit my first home run until I was 12. And then once I hit my first one, I end up hitting a ton of them. So, will I coach the Pats after Belichick leaves? <laughs> that would be awesome. So I have to look that up. Do our MLB? Uh, Laura asked this question actually today. 
are they able to call up minor leaguers when players opt out? I know they're able to choose from 60. I think they had to announce like a 60 man roster basically, but I don't know if when a guy opts out, if you get to add another guy to that 60 man, I'm not sure. Nelson Cruz for the hall of fame. Nelson Cruz rakes, but the problem is he doesn't, he DHs. So who's the best player in our program? Uh, we have a lot of good players in our program. I don't know who the best is. Um, that's tough to say. Nelson Cruz is huge for sure. Ever feel disrespected on an egregious strike three call from an umpire? Yeah, all the time. Every time I got called strike three, I felt it was egregious and I felt disrespected. And I used to say the same thing every time. I never say anything. I just go, oh, balls outside and walk back to the plate uh, to the dugout uh has a team in our program ever won a championship yeah we won um we uh, a lot of our trophies are in my son's room but like up here there's a couple trophies up there for championships we've won, but most of the trophies are in my son's room. Uh, the best way to beat the yips is a tough one. I wish I, I mean, if I know, if I knew that, I'd probably make a lot of money. Um, team therapist, Lars therapist, said. Tips for walking onto a college baseball team. Um, there's no really tips. I mean. Uh, and Malar said, be good. <laughs> be better than the worst player on the team. It really depends on the school you're looking at. And, you know, sometimes it can be hard at, like, Division One levels because they have a strict roster size and they've maybe everyone on the team, not everyone, but maybe a lot of guys are on scholarship or have at least been recruited. And so you've got to beat one of those guys out. It can be tough. It depends on the team. depends on the need. Basically, when you go to trials, just do the best you can. And um, hopefully that's good enough. Did I party at Wake or was it all baseball? <laughs> so, um, I mean, I went to baseball. Usually we have a baseball house where you would have baseball parties. I mean, I was very focused on baseball, but Laura's looking at me weird. Yeah, I'm not looking at you like anything. Most time you'll have more baseball parties like in the fall, less in the spring because of the season. Now, some guys on my team and some guys on other teams, they can go to parties all night, play baseball, and it doesn't bother them. Sometimes it does bother them, but they really don't give a crap. But for me, I wasn't going to... Um... You have too much at stake. Uh, no, I just wasn't going to let some... I, I was not ever going to go to a party the night before a game and not be 100% for that game. No chance. Because if I went 0 for 4, I would have like... I wouldn't have been able to deal with it mentally if I knew that I didn't prepare for the game well. So... Now, some guys don't care. Sure thing. Huh? Shout out to Robert Honeycutt. Do I have any rings? I have a double A championship ring. I have a high school championship ring. Uh, those are my only two rings. As a good 60-yard dash time for a 13-year-old, I have no idea. Honestly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nobody cares what you run at 13 years old. They'll care what you run at like 16 years old, but not at 13. You're right. I've seen plenty of guys that don't care and go for it. You're right. In football, I was a, uh, I was like a wide receiver. I was like a slot wide receiver, but I also went in the backfield a little bit. I also was the option quarterback a little bit. Are there guys you either played with or against growing up and had no idea they would be in the major someday? I play with you. Uh, I think most players growing up don't have an idea they're going to make it to the majors. I think um, a common misconception is that every guy in the major leagues always knew he was going to be a major league player. That's not the case. Like Sam Bellavo, like Sam, do you know you're going to be a big leaguer one day? What? Lara is just no fun. <laughs> she's no fun. She's the NFL, the no fun league. It's just like... Remember you said you were going to be nice to me if I came in here? Yeah, I, I've been very nice, Lara. But when I look over and you're going... <sighs> I didn't do that at all. They would have heard She's rolling that. her eyes. She's 
making some weird sound. Because that was a dad joke. And I'm a dad. That's true. Laura just wants to watch Hamilton. You're right, Jason. <laughs> the NFL, no fun, Laura. That's right. Good job. Oh, here she goes. Now she's mocking me with a laugh, and she's mocking you too. I'm very fun, Laura. How long does it take to get to the majors as a pitcher if you get drafted? It all depends. Depends on how good you are. Depends on what team you got drafted by. Depends on if the team is good or bad. If they need you. If they don't need you. Laura said it depends if you're a righty or a lefty. Uh, Albert, yeah, we, so I do online analysis, um, excuse me. Which you can sign up for on our website. Oh, Laura's trying to push <laughs> it now. No, if you go to our website, though, go to work with us. So go to AntonelliBaseball.com. In the top right, go to work with us, and then it'll tell you kind of how you can sign up. If you want to do it, just send me an email, and I can get you hooked up with it. Next road to the show, I'm going to have to get back on those soon. I have, I've been so busy with baseball. I mean, I don't even want to talk about this right now, but I literally had to do our whole schedule over because of this whole COVID-19 thing. And then once I got it finalized, they announced new regulations today in the state of Massachusetts, which is making me have to do them over again, possibly. And I'm just so fed up with it. I just want to play baseball and I want to stop having to do new schedules. It's July 6th. We haven't played a baseball game yet and I got to redo schedules again. Yeah, I'd coach the D-backs for sure. Um, I think the I think MLB is going to try to start the season on time. I just don't know if they'll get through it all. Have they started practicing? Wrist positions, so like, I mean, I always feel like my wrist is pretty neutral. Although I I shouldn't say neutral, I do have it a little bit this way. But I, I tell guys to try to feel like their elbows behind their hands, so like somewhere in here. Usually your wrist is going to be somewhere set like just like this. Now everyone's a little bit different, but my favorite movie snack. I mean, I love some popcorn, and then I'm going to go with Sour Patch Kids. I'm going to go with Swedish Fish. Licorice, Licorice is a good one. Even maybe some Starburst. Uh, no, I think going to a high school, I don't think high schools can really hurt recruiting that much. No one really gets recruited out of high school anyway. Well, some guys do, but high school, uh, recruiting typically happens in the summer. And those are the oldest answers. Well, I'm old, so. Simmons, Simmons is old. Should have been old. Oh, I can't say that on here. I shouldn't say it. Johnny Davis, I don't think I have. I like turf fields. How to improve your pop time? Uh, work on your footwork. Laura didn't like that question either. Work on your footwork. Get the ball out of your hands quicker. Work on shortening up your arm action, your arm circle. Top three movies of all time. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Uh, Forrest Gump. Uh, my, it's so hard to do the top three. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why Rudy just popped into my head. I don't think that's Rudy. a top. It's not a top three movie of all time, but for some reason it just popped into my head. Laura, what's your favorite movie snack? Mm. Reese's Pieces, maybe? Reese's Pieces, maybe. Licorice. Licorice. Popcorn. And popcorn. Is it annoying going on long car rides with my family? Um, I love car rides. I like long car rides. Um, sometimes it's tough with my kids because my son's going to ask 462 times when we're getting there. <laughs> and what the speed limit is. And what the speed limit is. And my son loves numbers. So literally when you're driving, he's going to go, Hey, Daddy, how fast are you going? And I'm going to go 78. And he goes... Hey, Daddy, how fast are you going now? I'm like, 78. Hey, Daddy, how about now? How fast are you going now? 
What's 79. The speed and what's the speed limit? 75. You should slow down. You're going to get pulled over. <laughs> no matter. You can go about 8, 9, even 10 miles an hour. You won't get pulled over usually. Hey, Daddy, how fast are you going? <laughs> That's the whole car ride. Literally, the whole car ride. Yeah, Laura doesn't drive. I drive when we're in the car together. I drive sometimes. Uh, Laura does not watch baseball games with me. No. How to improve bat speed? Uh, go to our YouTube channel and check out our hitting playlist. I go into all the details. But really, it's about how... I mean, strength and stuff can really help you, obviously. But it's about how you use your body. I never watch baseball games with you because you would never want to watch baseball games. You're always playing them. Yeah, but what about now? There is no baseball. That reminded me of Bill Belichick. Hmm. Nothing. Season's over. That was one of my favorite Bill Belichick quotes after the season. I don't know what game it was. Was it a loss to the Ravens? I don't remember. Yeah, it was where a, do you go from here? It was no, a playoff. Over. It was a playoff loss. And they go, so Bill, where do you go from here? And he goes, nowhere. Season's over. <laughs> <laughs> I usually use that line a lot. Um, Laura, who's your favorite baseball player of all time? Madison. That's a horrible answer. Really, though, who's your favorite baseball player of all time? Madison. Oh, my God. How bad are Laura root, Laura's roots? Oh, she actually went and got her roots done. Nice and freshly blonde again. That's right. We'll never see it. Well, you'll never see it. <laughs> Which organization treated their players the best? Um... Let's ask Laura that. Laura, which organization treated their players the best? Think about this one long and hard. Mm. I know what she's going to say. What do you think I'm going to say? I'm, I might say the Padres. Yeah, I knew she was going to say the Padres. See, here's the thing. Uh, I actually don't have my rings with me. They're at my parents' house. No, they're upstairs in my room. They are? Yeah. I have my rings at the house? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I thought they were at my parents' house. You want me to get them for you? Yeah, where are they? I haven't seen them in forever. In our room. They're in our room? Oh my God, do you live here? How did they get here? Weren't they at my parents' house? No, when we sold that house and we moved all the stuff here. Oh, apparently we got, we got the stuff from my parents' house and brought it here. Wow, I've been telling everyone for years. I haven't, I haven't seen those rings in years. I've been in this house for eight years. Nine years. I've been in this house for nine years. I haven't seen my rings in so long. Well, this will be exciting, guys. I'm going to have to make a video on this. How not to let the heat get you on the mound. Um, don't think about the heat. <laughs> What's the dumbest play in NFL history? Uh, probably the uh, probably uh, probably the butt fumble. By Mark Sanchez. That's not the dumbest play. The dumbest play ever was Leon Lett sliding and kicking that ball in the end zone for no reason. That was the worst play of all time. Uh, we are playing this summer, yep. Colts punt formation against New England. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let me think of what else. Cam Newton not going for that fumble. Ray Finkel. <laughs> uh, why didn't I try independently? Because uh, I, well, I was kind of injured at the end of my career, and I just... Oh, guys, here's my rings. I have not seen these rings. I have three rings? Guys, I have three rings. What's my third ring? Wake Forest. I have a Wake Forest ring? Holy shit, guys. I have a Wake Forest ring. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Seahawks passing on the goal line. All right, guys. So here's the first ring. I don't know what's in here. My wedding ring is right there. Here's my first ring right here. Let's see what it is. I don't know. Ooh, it's a double A championship. Oh, look at those diamonds right there. That is... Maybe they put real ones That in. is flashy. Yeah, that's real diamonds, Laura. Come on. 
Let's see. I haven't. I don't know if I've ever looked at this right here. I didn't know if the mileage though, too, looks like one of yours. All right. So there's uh, there's the SA for San Antonio. It's on the side here. What's that? It's hard to see. What is that? Oh, it says Padres. It was upside down. So we were the uh, we were named. So this is Baseball America 2007 Team of the Year. Our double, so our double A team was named the team of the year by Baseball America. We're pretty, st our team was pretty stacked. So I don't know if you guys can see that. And then on this side, it says Antonelli, San Antonio Missions, second base. I don't know if you guys can see that at all. I'm trying to find a good spot to see it. You can't really see it anywhere. Man, that's rough, guys. But anyways, that's my, uh, that's my San Antonio Missions ring. I had no idea that I had this. I got some new quality content I can make now. Uh, who is on my double-A team? Uh, our lineup was... Well, let's go... Let's do the lineup real quick. Hold on, guys. My phone's about to fall out of here. My lineup was... Uh, Nick Hundley was the catcher. Chase Headley was the third baseman. Um, Luis Cruz was a shortstop. I was the second baseman. Uh, first base was, who was at first base? I don't remember who was at first base. Ciafron, Pete Ciafron was uh, at first a little bit. Who else was at first? God, I can't remember. Uh, Chase, uh, Chad Huffman was in left. Drew Macias was in center. Will Venable was in right. Am I forgetting anyone? Uh, on the mound was, uh, Way LeBlanc. Was, uh, no, David Freeze was in high A. So this is the one thing I have on Freeze. I got called up a double A before Freeze did, so. <laughs> and then after that, he passed me. Yeah, but we, uh, we had a really good team in double A. Uh, Venable coaches the, the Cubs. How many double A teams did I play for? Only the Padres. Well, I did play like three or four games for double A with Washington when I was rehabbing a hamstring injury. Okay, guys, a couple more. Yep, here's the next ring. So the next ring comes in this nice little box right here. And so this ring is my high school state championship ring. You guys can see that. So we're blue. Now we're dark blue. When I played, we were this light blue. Yeah, Laura, I like Will. <laughs> I do like Will's a really nice guy. Will's a really nice guy. Um, here I am, Antonelli. So there's my name. And this right here says back to back. So we were back to back state champions in high school in high school uh, baseball. And then around that it says St. John's Prep, two thousand state champs. Best drill for 12-year-olds? Um, so I have a couple of drills that I think are really great, but they're hard to explain on here. Uh, wondering if you're, my son should make playing college playing list for... Does he want to play baseball? If he wants to play baseball, then make it for baseball with school also in there. I mean, obviously, if he doesn't want to play baseball, then don't have it for baseball but we try to blend school academics and then you know social just oh man i do have a wake forest ring when did i get a wake forest ring i don't remember getting this wake forest when ring back to school. when i went back to school what did i get it for oh shoot they did guys they gave it to me when i graduated oh this is cool Oh, this is a Letterman's ring. That's cool. What's that mean? Just for playing baseball, I guess. I think because you got drafted, you didn't go back to finish, so you gave it to you when you were back. Yeah, so I got this in 2000. And, well, it's a 2007 ring, but I that's when I would have graduated, but I actually graduated in 2013. 14. 13. 14. I, I, got, I got loans when I graduated, too. <laughs> well, actually... I had loans. I had to pay off my loans after I graduated. Um, most people think that if you play baseball and get a scholarship, you don't have loans. But I actually had um, 
well, let's say my four years of playing college baseball, I got, how many loans did I got? I got about, I think I had about 45,000 my first three years. And then it cost me what, like 50 grand to go my last year. Costs us a lot so I almost, I almost had a hundred thousand dollars in loans altogether for playing college baseball. <laughs> Um, anyways, so Deacons 2007 with the Deacon head right there. And then uh, there's me. Not really, but it says Antonelli, number nine. So our teams are playing in-state. We do have a couple of out-of-state tournaments in very local state, like the states basically surrounding us. Um, but we're mostly all in-state. We were supposed to go to Georgia, but we ended up not going there. How big is Laura's ring? Big John Stud has asked about my ring like 10 times. It's like the size of a baseball. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not. Um, actually, guys, if you want to know about Laura's ring, so, so uh, who is the toughest ACC opponent? Uh, UNC Chapel Hill was really good when I was there. Actually, that was a school I was... It was between Wake Forest and UNC Chapel Hill when it came down to my decision, and I chose Wake Forest. And then... Chapel Hill went to the World Series all three years of my co of when I was in college. So, um, How big is Kyle's ring? when I went to get my large ring, I actually did a great job. I went to the jeweler. I knew nothing about rings, and uh, we sat down. Wait, where do you look at Kyle? I don't know. We went through rings for so long, and I Not found we. I wasn't there. I, me and the woman, yeah. and uh, I found a great ring. Don't you like that ring? And she would have told me if she didn't like it, but <laughs> I'm a very honest person. Uh, I used to play professional baseball. Yes, I did, Tristan. Thoughts on MLB Network not showing the giant schedule? They didn't. Daddy Ball Rec League versus Travel Ball Tenue. What do you think? It's really hard to say. I know I never give good answers in these, but it really depends. Like. I'd have to know what the teams are, because some team, some leagues, some travel ball teams are horrendous. <laughs> Let me see your ring, Laura. I'll, I'll, I'm not wearing it. Oh, she's not even wearing a ring. Jeez, Louise! And you just came back from the bar. That's freaking messed up. Too. <laughs> uh, hey, Will Frame, what's going on? Uh, I got hurt a lot when I played baseball, yeah. <laughs> Robert, I was just kidding. Would you have played with a wedding band on my hand? Um, no, I took it off. Shoes. I mean, I was ma I was married when I played, but... Um, Didn't you tie it to your shoelace? No, that was an in gem. I took my wedding ring off and put it in my locker. Uh, some guys play with wedding rings, but I... Could never play with a wedding ring on. Yeah, bench clean brawls are going to be prohibited. I have faced a knuckleballer in college. I mean, in a pro ball. Um, they weren't great, but they weren't bad. I committed to Wake Forest my senior year of high school, yeah. See, back when I played high school baseball, that was like normal times where guys committed in their senior year of high school. Not like now when guys are committing, committing like freshman and sophomore year. Uh, how many ways, days a week did I have team practice when I was 8 to 13? Uh, I'm not sure. My dad was my coach in Little League, and he he liked to practice a lot, so we practiced a lot. I don't know how much we practiced, but my dad was not into the just play games. He wanted to practice. <laughs> Will Frank come in his junior year. I know, Will. And you're like, and not, not, not that that's considered late, but it's considered normal, I guess. What sailed the Dale in choosing Wake Forest? Uh, when I went to campus, I just really, really liked campus. I liked the coaching staff, and I liked the players that I stayed with when I was down there. Just felt really comfortable. Yeah, you, you guys can't even enjoy high school now because guys in high school are just all they're worried about is committing to college. See? I got to play all of high school almost and not worry about it. It was excellent. That's the way it should be. I wish it would go back to that. 
The fact that a kid hasn't even played varsity baseball yet, but he's worried about committing to college is just mind-boggling. Like, what are we doing? We're trying to commit to college before we play high school varsity baseball. If that's not messed up, I don't know what is. It's so weird. Like in high school now, when you go to high school practice now, everyone wears like their college shirts, right? Like guys commit to high school, college so early, they're all wearing their college shirts. When I was in high school, we wore our high school shirts because no one committed to college until late. No one talked about college. Like I never, ever, ever talked about college when I was in high school. It was just, I just liked that so much more. When we were in high school, it was just, you're right, Will. When I was in high school, it was just about high school. Like, everyone focused on winning in high school. But it's just so much different today. Like, today, you're going to probably hear more college talk at high school stuff than high school talk. It's always about, oh, who's watching? Who's in the stands? Oh, oh who are you committed to? Oh, who's this guy committed to? Ha, <laughs> I wish, Jason, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, that's true. We'll frame more Brown's apparel. But not all of us are cool and have relatives that work security or whatever the hell they got going on over there in Cleveland, Will. Clubhouse, not clubhouse. What do they call equipment guy? Um, I have not suicide squeezed. Um, so as a coach, so in high school, I'm not the head coach, but I did call for a suicide squeeze. Um, and it worked successfully. I'm one for one. I have not done it in travel though. Um, I've talked to major league baseball. Well, the people that run the YouTube major league baseball is YouTube about stuff. And I've done some stuff for major league baseball on YouTube, but uh, let's see. Matt, do you grill? If so, grilling tips. Uh, I don't grill. Laura likes to grill. Laura doesn't trust me on the grill because she needs... Well, let's be honest. You don't even know how to turn on the grill. Let's be honest. She's a control freak. And so she needs to make, make sure that she grills everything to perfection. Albert Moreno. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Love the channel. Thank you. Have you ever... Mended fences with Vin Scully for bagging your play at Dodger Stadium. I haven't. Last time I ever saw Vin Scully was the last time I played in the major leagues. Never saw him again after that, so. Big Dom stud. I, stud. I will open more baseball cards, yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't chew tobacco, no. <laughs> Laura, grilling tips? Don't burn it. Don't burn it, she said. Well, she should follow her own advice. Wow. Coming at me anything. for not doing pull-ups when you can't even turn on a grill. I can turn on a grill. That's just Laura being a... We had to go fill up the propane. And Laura said, Matt, how do you, how do you unscrew this tank? I wasn't even going to And I had to come to the rescue, okay? So don't let her tell you that oh, I don't... Oh, I needed your big muscles to help me carry it. Never say anything about muscles. You didn't know how to... You didn't know what to do. See, Laura said I... I I've been so nice to Laura lately, but she's going to come in here. Lately? I don't know if you... <laughs> lately. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but she is constantly firing at me right now. I'm not just going to sit here and take it. I do no such thing. Planet Fitness Muscles. Well, let's not talk about muscles right now, okay? 20 MLB at-bats. Right now, I go for 20. <laughs> oh, Team Laura, please. Thanks, Will. Oh, shush. Jason, he never played in Philadelphia. Now Laura's going to start answering my questions. Well, he's asked a lot. Oh, thanks. How does Laura cook her steaks? Well done. No, I don't like well done steaks. I, they didn't say how do you like them. They said how do you cook them. I don't cook them well done at all. I cook them perfect. Oh. 
All right, guys, we're going to do one more question probably. I got to go watch some Hamilton before I go to bed. I got a lot of baseball tomorrow morning. I got baseball all day tomorrow. Baseball starts at 9 a.m. and it finishes at 9 p.m. What a day. Can you believe that, Laura? A 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The next three days, I go 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Are you serious? Yes, I am. I actually go earlier than that. Tomorrow, I got to leave the house at 8.30. Good luck, man. Um... Oh, Will, I forgot. Uh, I don't play golf. No, I stink at golf. Will, I got to figure out where I'm sending you. Right, Actually, I don't think... Will's coaching for us. I don't think I need any help the first weekend, but I definitely will the second weekend, Will. Uh, I'm more new school. I don't bunt ever. No bunting. And bunt for hits all day long, but I don't sack bunt. Except in very rare situations. Thanks, P.O.B. with M.O.B. News. It's more like Chardonnay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, my tips are just do what you enjoy doing and what you find fun. I find that when I do things that are fun, I people seem to like it more. Some people yell at me, but I'm just going to do whatever I feel like. <laughs> well, why don't you text them, okay? You're trying to let everybody know that you hit outside today. We'll practice today, everybody. Now he wants to study his film. What a guy. Uh, propane. I use propane, but charcoal is cool. We need a nuclear. <laughs> Wolfrain's playing D1, everybody. He probably already told everyone that, but in case he hadn't yet tonight. Where is he playing? UMass Amherst. Does he really? He doesn't play there right now, but he will be playing there soon. He played at St. John's Prep this year, but there was no season. Yeah. Can you believe I had a lie to the UMass Amherst coach well, so many I times when they, they asked me so many times about this Wolfram guy? I was like, no, 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 you're gonna like him. You're gonna love you're gonna love him. You're gonna love him. Hey, see, I'm just kidding, Will. And I'm kidding you, Mass Amherst. They know I said nice things. CSU grad 2005. You need to make up with old Vin. Thank you so much for Super Chat, by the way. Also, be careful with what to say and do around Laura. I would hate to be reading your obituary. <laughs> Matt has the easiest life in the world. I do everything for him. Anyways, guys, it was great. It's great talking to everyone tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we are going to go watch. Oh, yeah, she's very quiet over there. I don't know what she's doing. She's here's fun. Her next name is Carnell. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, go oh, guys, actually, before we leave, so Major League Baseball, supposedly the first night of the season is what? Thursday the 23rd, I think. It's, uh, oh no, I've got practice that night. I can't even watch the game live. Um, do you think it would be cool? I'm thinking about watching games. We did this a little bit in the playoffs last year, but. Yeah, Laura, well, Laura was, um, she was a UMass Amherst Minuteman, Minuteman for two years. And then she transferred out. She didn't like being away from home. So she transferred, so. Um, so I'm thinking maybe when the season starts, I'll do some live broadcasting games like YouTube live, but I'll be announcing the game. I think that'll be fun. We've done it a little bit in the playoffs in the past, but I'm excited for baseball this year, guys. Super Me pumped too. up. Can't super, wait. super, super pumped up. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just read the same one? Yeah. Um. Uh, all right, everyone. Thank you again. Well, baseball is right around the corner. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens. Antonelli baseball starting up. I'm thinking about also doing a Antonelli baseball um, vlog this year again. Too bad Will, Will Frayne's not with us anymore. He would have liked that, but... They don't want to see it. I think they do want to see... Oh, they might not want to see Will Frayne, but they want to see a vlog, I think. A day in the life of Antonelli baseball. I think they would like that, actually. 
Um, all right. I know I said I'm going a couple of times. Will, you can be my assistant coach. We've already got a couple, but. All right. Take care, everyone. Laura, you have any last words to say? Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.